Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce our recent work, Intestinal Linoleic Acid Contributes to the Protective Effects of Acromingia Mucinophila Against Listeria Monocetogens Infection in Mice. Listeria monocetogens is ubiquitous in nature and infects humans mostly via contaminated food products, therefore, it presents significant challenges to the food industry and public health. Considering the relatively high mortality rate of systemic listerial infection and the increasing concern about antibiotic resistance, it is highly imperative to explore cost-effective and safe strategies to prevent listeriosis. Acromingia mucinophila is currently considered a promising next-generation beneficial bacterium. It has recently received increasing attention owing to its close association with metabolic diseases, such as obesity, type I diabetes and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It is intriguing to decipher whether Acromingia mucinophila could exert an active role against listerial infection. In this work, the mice were randomly divided into six groups. From day 1 to day 10, the mice from the control and LM groups were fed PBS. Mice in the AKK and AKK plus LM groups were orally gavaged with live mucinophila. Mice in the HK AKK and HK AKK plus LM groups were orally gavaged with paralyzed mucinophila. On day 11, the mice from the LM a KK plus LM and HK a KK plus LM groups were administered with L monocetogens by oral garbage and then monitored for three days. And the mice in the control group received PBS. The mice in the AKK and HK a KK groups were sacrificed without infection on 11. And the mice in the control LM, a KK plus LM and HK a KK plus LM groups were sacrificed on day 14. Live Ackermingia mucinophila resulted in significantly reduced Listeria monocytogens loads in the ilum, colon, mesenteric lymph nodes, liver, spleen and feces, whereas heat killed Ackermingia mucinophila did not exhibit similar protective effect. Therefore, only live Ackermingia mucinophila was focused on in the following experiments. In term of inflammatory responses, Live Ackermingia mucinophila pretreatment decreased the levels of interleukin-6 and interleukin-1-beta in serum and downregulated expression of these genes in ilum and colon. A mucinophila pretreatment alleviated the downregulation of ZO1 caused by the pathogen. As for the phylum level of the gut microbiota, the abundance of Recomicrobia significantly increased, and the abundance of Firmicutes, Proteobacteria, Epsilon bacteriata. Lactobacillus and Eubacterium decreased significantly in the gut microbiota of a mucinophila treated mice. However, L. monocytogens infection induced a decreased abundance of Bactroidetes and Vercomicrobia in mice, while the abundance of Firmicutes and Epsilon bacteriata increased significantly. Fecal microbiota transplantation assay showed, compared to mice receiving feces from mice in the control group, mice receiving feces from the AKK group had reduced bacterial loads accompanied by an improvement in intestinal epithelial barrier dysfunction. Untargeted metabolomics analysis showed that linoleic acid metabolism pathway was significantly affected by a KK pretreatment during listeria infection. Compared to the control mice, L. monocytogens infection decreased linoleic acid levels, while a mucinophila pretreatment increased its level. Oral pretreatment with linoleic acid significantly decreased listeria bacterial loads, in mice and attenuated damage to intestinal epithelial barrier. As linoleic acid is a strong indigenous agonist of the G-protein coupled receptor 40, GPR40, receptor, although L. monocytogens did not alter GPR40 expression, linoleic acid treatment stimulated GPR40 activation in vivo and in vitro. GPR40 inhibitor, DC to 6 1 to 6, nullified the protective role of linoleic acid, against L. monocytogens infection in mice. In summary, we demonstrated here that live mucinophila supplementation ameliorates L. monocytogens infection partly through enhancing gut barrier function and increasing intestinal level of linoleic acid, which could modulate epithelial barrier integrity partly through the GPR40 pathway. Together, this work uncovers a novel pathway, account for the barrier enhancement property of L. mucinophila and potentially facilitate the development of a mucinophila or linoleic acid-based prophylactic strategies against L. monocytogens infection. Thanks for your listening.